Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot something. Something very important. It's about Siegmeier. I can do his quest, step in Isolith, because it didn't rescue his doctor. And that's why I'm here. Now, where are the pigs? I cheese them. It was quick, true, but really. I have a bow and I have lightning spear. Take a guess what happened. Hey. Evil, evil little creatures. Wow. <sighs> Next thing. I never bother talking about Gwendolyn. And I need to rectify that. But just not right now, thank you. Thank you very much. So, Gwendolyn. Where is your stupid headdress? There it is. Crown of the Dark Sun, Gwendolyn. Protector of the forsaken city of Aino Londo. <coughs> Excuse me. This crown of the gods demands faith. Again, this crown of the gods demands faith immeasurable of its wearer, but is imbued with dark moon power that enhances all magic. The image of the sun manifests in Gwyn's, Gwendolyn's deep adoration of the sun. Speaking of which... Uh, Let's show me a stupid thing. First, I was looking for a new fashion that can go with it, with, it, with, it, with, it, with this armor and spare. Sunlight maggot kinda works. This, on the other hand, doesn't work. So. Uh, the thing that works, funnily enough, funnily, 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 fortunately enough, is a painting guardian hood. It looks miraculously. Now, Gwendolyn. Gwyn's last born, raised as a daughter, because he's connected to the moon. AKA the Dark Sun. I don't go into the convolution of the Dark Sun and the Dark Moon. Dark Sun, Moon in general. Dark Moon, New Moon. Shit, I did go into detail. Fuck me, right? Yes, and the Moon is associated with femininity. With the woman side of life. Which would probably better suited for Guinevere. My apologies. Uh, 
You stared for a few seconds on a character without me speaking. I remember that my microphone is mute. Oh, for flippin' heck! Mouse, mouse, mouse. Thank you. I see you. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, for flippin' heck. Come down here. back here so I can talk about Gwendolyn again how is how is I know Londo's home illusionist and probably slightly confused about his gender Which is probably counted to him being raised as a girl. Oh, hello. What are you doing down here? Not that I really mind that much, because it makes my job easier. But you know... This is what happens if you get cookie. Your eyes will be this wide. The length of the spear. But after you have recovered, you go back in and do it better. Slightly irritating indeed. But that is the price of getting cookie. Because I'm a little bit cuckoo now. Deal with it. No. Poke. 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 Thank you very much for dying. I shouldn't trade hits. Do I care? Apparently not. Should I care? Yes, it's 10 humanity on. But I'm risking right now. Do you die again, please? Thank you very much. Which is standing there? Really? Yeah. 
Thank you. Again, Gwendolyn, home illusionist of Anna Londo, associated with the moon, therefore raised as a daughter. No. And may or may not have a family complex. Don't ask me why I go to that conclusion. First, melee. Really? Flipping egg. Just throw it over and die, please. Gwendolyn also may just be terrified of the dark and uses his sister and father to extend the age of fire using his father meaning you have to inherit Lord Gwent's place and burning alive And using a sister, well, you all saw the illusion, right? You all saw that I plunged Enolondo into the night. Oops. Ah, uh, yes, I have the crystal ring shield. Which is surprisingly useless. It's it just looks neat. Don't judge me. Really? Did I mention that I don't like the crystal hollows? And I don't like you. Would you please? Oh, oh. Ooh. No. Ow. Getting cocky again. Uh, I'm not concentrating. I should be concentrating, but Gwendolyn! He's important. He's a major player in Dark Souls 1. Oh, this will be a long episode. I can feel it in my bones. Pull the lever! Wrong lever. <laughs> Boop. Uh, I don't like the crystal hollows. Luckily. Elemental damage. Wee. Oh, interesting. But ultimately, not good for my overall health. No. Oh. Fuck. 
just please. I have a healing miracle, why don't I use it more often? <laughs> you, come here. that this gentleman comes over to me and stop casting for a second thank you oh, oh. never mind I can deal with it Ah, uh, Gwendolyn, ach Gwendolyn. Flip. Getting cocky again. I don't want to cheat it. Can't be that hard. Now you again. Uh, do I have anything else to say about Gwendolyn? Not really, not really. Poke, poke, poke. What else? What else? Well, I have something, but I do want to <sighs> watch something else before that, before I mention it. So wait, I have something more about Gwendolyn. The ring of the, his son's firstborn mentions that Gwyn expunged his f firstborn from the annals of history. But why should then said firstborn? put his very own miracle in front of Gwyn's cenotaph. Unless it wasn't Gwyn who said get out of my sight but Gwendolyn. For reasons not to my knowledge. So let's go away. No. Keep door. I hate you from soft. This is a great game. It for the entirety of Anolondo it kept me going about heroics. And now I'm going on about Gwendolyn basically banishing his his older brother. For 
whatever foolishness. Maybe dragons, maybe dark. I haven't played Dark Souls 3 for that. Mm. Uh, but I want to get to the snake man now. So. him later or not or not also a possibility do I have yes contingencies my friends contingencies oh come here stupid thing Ah, uh, yeah, crystals. That is a thing here. That is a thing here. First, before I go in there, the point about Gwendolyn banishing his older brother. Not everything is what, is what it seems to be. Not in one, not in two, and not in three. Just keep that in mind. Eat lightning! Oh. Eat more lightning? I know that he is. Oh! Basically, immortal right now. Ouch. Ow. Okay, that was insta kill. Sort of. I don't like it, but well, there you have it. Now let's kindle the spawn fire. Because I want my 20 Estes. Because I'm a bad player. Talking and playing at the same time is hard. Especially in a game that is about concentration. And it's combat. Now. First I want... Well, a few little shits be away. And I probably should use this now because every little bit helps. And now it's a one shot. All hay is a poise. So, I hope you all remember the Snake Man Incense Fortress. I guess. Uh, who knows where is C's little pro playground? Ah, Kev Torsalki. I haven't read keys for a long while. And I haven't read embers. Now the thing that I did off camera getting this Chaos Flame Ember. Ember required for weapon ascension. Chaos Flame Ember is an art of the lost city of Isoleth. 
rendered only by blacksmiths knowledgeable in ancient methods. Chaos weapons are demon weapons augmented by humanity which inflict fire damage. Which makes no sense at all. But gameplay. Gameplay. Anything... Yes, broken pendant. Part of a broken stone pendant. The vine appears to originate from Ulysseel. A powerful magic can be sensed from this ancient stone. Yet man of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power, which has a distinct air consisting of both reverence and nostalgia. Well... Ulysseel, manners. Ah, perfect. I already read this, but who knows where? Duke Circus. Archive Tower, sir, key. The key to the cell of the Duke's Archive Tower. The Archive Tower, once a trove of precious tomes and letters, became a prison after the onset of sea's madness. The serpent men who guard the prison know not the value of what they hide. In the basement of the tower are the writhing mistakes of the terrifying experiments which were conducted there. Oh, this will not be fun for me at all. Once I stepped outside, headache. Headaches. Yes. Oh. So you come able to have a field day in that cage. Tentacles. Tentacles. You fighting? Hey! Stop it! Really seriously? You're doing that to me? Bitch! <laughs> no. <sighs> now, the pisakas, 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 pisaka. No. Ooh. Ooh. Don't like lightning, eh? I'm sorry, girls. It has to be done. You're in my way. And I want to reduce my headache as soon as possible. that I probably have to do something else. No. No. Whoa. Did you bitch slap me? She bitch slap me. Blah. Bitch slap me. We are right. I dropped my humanity. Pisakas, former handmaids of Grenevere. A human confirmed. Question. How do you like pure lightning? Uh, 
probably look you like it more when it hits stone. Yes, please. That's right. Ooh, you hate it. You hate it. Gee. Tough luck. Now, sunlight, what is sunlight? It's nice to have you, but right now you are a little bit annoying because you obscure my vision on the monitor. Thank you very much. Much, much better. Oh, look. Before we go there, let's kill those deviants up there. Should be fun because I take a little, a few more hits and the brothers in Sense Fortress. We ouch. It wasn't smart at all, but really. to place ow ow jesus thanks No. Now you, you blasted annoying Scobra man. Ugh. And you shut up. Oh. Isn't that much better? The serenity. Well, not so serene right now, but those poor ladies. I hate to from soft. I will and truly hate you. But you want the items? Yes. Put them in chests. Or let Guinevere give them to me. For fuck's sake. It was a strong moment. You ruined it, Formsoft. Thanks, a bunch. Where are you? Soothing sunlight and bountiful sunlight. A special miracle granted to the maidens of Guinevere, Princess of the Sun. Restores high HP for self and vicinity. The miracles of Guinevere, the princess cherished by all, grant a blessing to a great many warriors. Well, Guinevere certainly was benevolent. Hello again. What a chance meeting this is. Alas, I'm imprisoned once again. I don't suppose you could stage me a getaway. The archives. Such a storehouse of knowledge. So close, but just out of reach. The thought offends me, so I could simply die. As a student of the arts, you understand me, eh? Well, 
if you assume that miracles and sorceries are the same. Hello again. As a yes, yes. So old Bigad just couldn't stop and had to do it again. Which did I get? Probably not. Probably not. Giant door, giant door, giant door. Nothing. Of course. Why am I even asking? Of course I don't. I'm stupid. But yeah, Logan couldn't stop himself from getting into trouble again. <sighs> Finally. And just had to brave since fortress again and probably get caught there again. Just this time he was brought here because magic. And he already summed up what is this place is all about. Knowledge. Raw, unrefined knowledge. <clears throat> and he loves it. Yes. What are you? Archive prison extra key. A lot of keys I need to read. But as you can see, something in here went awry. And Seath was driven mad. I wonder why. I wonder why. Really? Design, great design. And I mean great prison design, not great level design. The prisons that sells themselves are nice. Just need a carpet and a bed and maybe a few shelves and I would say. They're cozy. But that's me being weird, I guess. Ooh, Laura's paper. Ooh, that's, that looks bad. Let's not look at it anymore. By the way. There's a certain book all over the archives that FromSoft loves, apparently. Which is absolutely fine. Because why not? If you love something, then by all means. yourself out. Um, bu 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 of course. No. For fuck's sake, I want to go there. Can I even? Bit, bit. That's it. 
Well, we ouch. Yes, soul items. Everybody loves them. Interesting. A little bit hammerless, if you ask me. Oop. Now we're here. Let's not jump down there. Let's jump down here. Breaking every limp, but it's fine, it's fine. And before I forget, let's read. First prison extra key, for whatever reason. Extra key to the cell in the Duke's archive tower. Perhaps the seventh men were careless, for there are several keys scattered about which fit archive tower cells. So they are klutzes. Key to the giant door leading out from the uppermost floor of archive tower, which now serves as a prison. The key design resembles not a key of a prison. Indeed, the tower was once no prison at all, but a trove of precious tomes. Well, Seath did something. In the immortal words of Black of Gripes, he shot his load all over the place. We can still see the crystal jess. Um. Enough plague of grabs. It's weird to have a staircase like this and of all a design like this as a well okay. See. He's mad. Doesn't have to make sense. But there's more. Of, there's always more. I want to go to the next bonfire before. Yes, I said that I wanted to go to the snake man, but really, I want to go to the next bonfire so I can warp. Ouch. So, what are you? What are you? Maidenhood and maiden robe. Oh, 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 oh. Seas, seas, seas. Dark ones, seons, ring, white seons, ring. White seons, ring. A divine ring entrusted to the head bishop of the way of white. And apostle to all Father Lloyd. Uncle to Lord Gwyn. Now we begin to, to walk on t dangerous territory. It grants additional attunement slots. The head bishop of the way of the white is a guardian of law and caste, and one of the great royals of Thorland. The head bishop is female? Works, I guess. So, where is the maiden? There. Really? Seriously?
White hood worn by traveling maidens. It is part of the formal attire, regardless of rank. It is soft and well made, but does not offer much in the way of defense, making it ill suited to use in combat. Um, uh, I just point out the similarities in the maidenhood and the dingy hood. Just saying. Just saying. Just something that jumped my eye. Well, that is not really. But. Uh, yes, also not. Could be, could be. I mean, similar cut, just without the belt. But, you know. Fuck. Uh, old Father Lloyd, uncle of Lord Quinn. Oh, I wanted to go here. Ay, 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 ay. There is something none of the Souls games, and I specifically mean Dark Souls, doesn't tell us or don't tell us. And it is most likely around the War of the Ancients and the First Flame and such. Basically everything before this game, in terms of in-game history. No, I did not misclick. No, 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 no. All your imagination. Uh. So fucking much. This is still twenty levels to go. Ah, uh, I leave it at that. How can Gwyn have an uncle if? He was a lot of sunlight. No, 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 no. Fine, you hit me. <sighs> okay. Concentrate, concentrate, dude. It's fine, it's fine. How can Gwyn have an uncle if he just found the, his Lord Soul near or in the first flame? He didn't have any self awareness or consciousness before. So, how? Could he possibly have any recollection of him having an uncle? Yes, let's run right into the flipping arrow. I know that you are there. Because you shall die. Probably is just a formality. The first families were f probably formed not by blood but by loyalty. No. Oh, okay. Fine. 
Oh, really? Okay, stop talking about family bonds of the divine families and start to concentrate, man. It's important. Okay, I will be pissed right now if I'm not recording. I am, I am, aha! I did hit the button. Who's shooting? And from where? Oh. Inconsequential then. Anything here? No. Anything there? Apparently, yes. And it's not a mimic. Thank you. Twinkling Titanite. Yay. Now, do I want the flipping Evelyn? I never knew where it is. And now I see the chest with it. No, 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 no. Too slow. Oy, 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 oy. This is some bad mojo. Whose idea was it? Who's there? Boom, so whatever. I shall end it here today. Good night. And sleep well. <laughs>